so fresh. I never thought a walk in the woods could be so enjoyable. You can't do this in Iwatodai. Oh, so listen to this. Junpei was acting like such a pervert yesterday and I didn't know how to react. It's probably a good thing we came out here by ourselves. Huh? Oh, yeah. Mitsuru speaking. Uh, Mitsuru, we have a slight problem. Please continue. Well, I'm at the lab here on the island, and a machine that was considered inoperable suddenly left the facility on its own. A machine? What kind of machine is it? I need detailed information to locate anything other than shadows. It's a combat vehicle, an anti-shadow weapon to be precise. A combat vehicle? You mean like a tank? We're not currently with the others, so it might take some time for us all to assemble. I see. Well, regardless, I want you to handle this as soon as possible. I'm on my way there now. If the target cannot be captured, do we have permission to destroy it? <laughs> I highly doubt you'll be able to destroy it. What? Then how are we supposed to stop it? Just do your best. I'll call you again later. Great. No one's answering. Don't worry about it. Let's go back and get our equipment. Then we can have Yamagishi's persona scan the area, although this island is quite large. Jeez, where could they be? This says we've gone to see the Joman cedar tree. It looks like Fuka's handwriting. Oh man, we're at an island resort in the middle of summer! Why don't they go to the beach? That's just not right. Well, it is your fault. What do you mean? I, I just wanted to lighten up the mood. I don't want to hear it. Well, it doesn't matter anyway. We're on our own now. Just the guys. If you're out of ammo, you pick it up on the battlefield. That's one of the most basic military tactics. We'll call this... Operation Babe Hunt. Babe Hunt? You mean like, pick up girls? What do you think, Akihiko-san? With you on the squad, we're guaranteed to succeed! What do you think about this? Then I'm appointing him our leader as usual. What? Why? You said yourself this is an operation. Aw, oh, man, that's bullshit! You better take this seriously. It's an important operation. This sucks. 
We're 0 for 3. What's wrong? I thought you weren't interested in picking up chicks. If I'm in a match, I want to win. I know what our problem is. You can't control yourself. What? Don't blame this on me. I'm just stating the obvious. But you haven't scored either! What did you just say? Enough already! Leader, whose fault do you think it is? I won't accept a stalemate. It's either him or me. Yeah! This is serious. Now tell us... Who's... What's the matter? You see something? about saving the best for less. Now that's what I'm talking about. Man, she's cute. I agree. This is our last chance to make up for failures. But this time we should try one by one instead of all together. We'll have a better shot that way. Sounds like a good plan. Alright, then let's decide the order. We'll go clockwise, starting with the winner. Ready? Rock, paper, scissors! Yeah! I win! Okay, I'll go first. Akihiko-san will go second, and you'll go last. I'm up! Wish me luck! How's it going? I noticed you've been, uh, staring at the ocean. So, um... Do you come here often? My name's J J Junpei. Ju Ju Junpei? Uh, don't worry, I, I just want to talk. I mean, I mean, it's more fun than standing here all by yourself, isn't it? I am looking for a human. Uh, oh, yeah? You are not the one. Wow, he got shot down faster than I expected. She's a tough one, senpai. <laughs> Don't worry about me. Wow, hello there. Say, uh, do you like the ocean? Is your question directed at me? Oh, uh, well, yeah. I, I like the ocean, too. Hey, I heard that triathletes who train at the beach perform better than those who practice indoors. Makes sense, doesn't it? Wow, he's actually having a conversation with her. Although, something's not right. That type of information is irrelevant to me.
<laughs> I won. I talked to her longer than you did. It doesn't matter how long you talk to her. <sighs> Ugh, this sucks. <laughs> Hey, stop crying. You're making me feel bad. So, that's our status. If you can't pull this off, I'm gonna be traumatized for the rest of my life. We're on the ropes, but it's not over yet. It's all up to you now. Set. But she looks surprised. We should go over there. You are... Initiating evasive maneuver. Confirmation must be made at a secure location. Hey, what did you say to make her run away like that? Well, what are you waiting for? Go after her! Go tell her you're sorry! If you don't, we'll all be in trouble. Go on, man! You can catch her if you hurry! was correct. I have found you. I have been searching for you. My highest priority is to be with you. What? I can't believe this! What's going on? He didn't even say anything to her. There you guys are. What are you doing here? We've been looking all over for you. Um, what are you doing in the middle of the woods, in your swimsuits? You have no idea what we've... Huh? Who's this? Listen, we've encountered a problem. I'm sorry to interrupt your vacation, but I need you all to go back to the house and prepare for battle. That won't be necessary. We found what we were looking for. What do you mean? Oh, you had me worried. You don't have permission to leave the lab on your own, I guess. I apologize for all the trouble. Everything is under control now. So, what happened to capturing the tank? Oh, that's been taken care of. Come here, I guess. This is Igus. As you can see, she's a mechanical maiden. I am Igus. My mission is to destroy shadows. I have been assigned to seize, effective immediately. <sighs> no way! It's like she's... alive. This is unbelievable. She's so cute, but she's a robot. Anti-shadow weapons were created 10 years ago to combat uncontrollable shadows. Igust was the last to be made, and she's the only one that still remains today. An anti-shadow weapon? Does that mean she... Yes, I am capable of operating the persona 
Palladian. She suffered major damage in combat and has remained in the lab ever since. It's still unclear as to why she suddenly reactivated herself this morning. Well, I hope you will all get along. An anti-shadow weapon with a will of her own? This is amazing! Um, by the way, when I saw you earlier, it seemed like you knew him. Yes, it is very important for me to be by his side. Hmm, perhaps her identification system is malfunctioning. Or maybe she's still half asleep. This is quite interesting. Hmm. Well, I can ponder this later. Oh, I forgot to tell you all. You can participate in a wide range of recreational activities here. There's a tennis court, a pool table, even a karaoke machine. Would you care to hear me sing? <laughs> It's already the third day of our trip. It's too bad we have to go home tomorrow. I'd totally stay longer if I could. But I can't complain. A lot of cool things happened while we were here. How can he be so full of energy? We were all up so late last night. a mission at the beach today. Nah, it's nothing like that. We just came here to have some fun. Do you understand what it means to have fun, I guess? Of course. Recreation is the refreshment of one's mind and body. Exactly! Well, you sure know a lot about us humans. All right. Let's take one last dip before we leave. Uh, hold on, Junpei-kun. Is it okay for Igus to go in the ocean? Oh, I'm sure she's waterproof. What's wrong, Igus? It is best that we all engage in this activity together. An activity in which only one person derives enjoyment is not the optimal method to have fun. Ugh, do we have to? We should join them. Okay. Are you enjoying yourself? We've been quite busy during our time here, but it looks as if we can relax a bit today. Hey, Akihiko-san, come on! It's your turn! My turn? What are they doing? <laughs> I'm glad to see everyone is having so much fun. I've already told you what time the ship will be arriving tomorrow, yes? I'll most likely head over to the port early, so don't be late. Okay, I'll let everyone know. Until then, enjoy the last day of your vacation! Good morning! Please wake up. Mission accomplished. The paper on the wall says, do things five minutes early. Therefore, I woke you up five minutes prior to the triggering of your alarm clock. Hey, are you awake? That girl disappeared and we can't find her anywhere. Think you can help us out? She might have gone out on her own, like she did in Yakushima. 
I am not a girl. I am Igis, and I am here. Huh? Igis, how did you? He was asleep, so I unlocked the door. That's unlawful entry. Didn't we tell you to stay in the command room at night? I propose to be on standby in this room from now on. Is this acceptable? What? No, it's not acceptable. If there is a problem, then I will address it promptly. Uh, the problem is, it's against dorm regulations. Well, don't just sit there. Tell her. Say that! You know she can't stay with you. <laughs> Alright, I'll have a room prepared for you on the third floor. You can stay there. Oh, and don't leave the dorm by yourself, okay? I will do as commanded. <sighs> I'm tired. I have practice this morning, so I gotta go. Everyone goes to a place called school in the morning. I comprehend. Oh, you're back. Perfect timing. Hey, Fuka, is I guess ready? Ready for what? She said she wanted to go to school, so I said something to Mitsuru-senpai as a joke. But the chairman overheard and thought it was a good idea, so as of tomorrow, she'll be a junior. Seriously? He's down with that? He said something about studying her behavior in a social environment. Well, as far as I'm concerned, it's a great idea. Just look at how cute she is in that uniform! The camouflage Fuka-san has provided me with seems to be the appropriate size. It looks very natural on you. No one will suspect a thing. But why does he want you to go to school? It's not like there's anything special about it. With the commencement of the second semester, I intend to synchronize my schedule with the other members. If I were to remain here on standby, it could delay our deployment. Therefore, I request to accompany our squad leader. Delay our deployment? Won't you going to school create more problems? I will make any necessary adjustments as problems arise. He said, I want to go to school, too. Sorry, Korochan. You have to stay here. have a new student who will be joining us. She just transferred here. Please, introduce yourself. My name is Igis. I am pleased to meet you all. Igis? What a strange name. I wonder if she was born overseas. Let's see. Anything else I should know? Hmm. Humanoid tactical weapon? What on earth? Clearly, that's a mistake. It just goes to show, you can't believe everything you read. You can sit uh, right over there, in that empty seat. 
Uh, Miss Toriyumi, that spot's already taken. He's just playing hooky. Which means he's not here. So it's free to be used, right? This spot will be perfect. Because I wish to always be by his side. I guess. Is there a problem? Um, Yukari, why are you standing up? My, aren't we just full of drama today? Do me a favor and save the antics for after school. In 92 seconds, my time has improved. <gasps> Surface body temperature reads 98.7 degrees. No fever. At this rate, he should make a full recovery by morning. The pillow I prepared in the freezer will not be necessary. I mustn't stay too long or Yukari-san will reprimand me again. There are still four hours and twelve minutes until sunrise. Hmm. I need only sneak out again before morning. We'll keep watch over him for a little longer. We're finally here. Whoa, nice place. It is an expensive area, after all. Hey, what's that umbrella for? I see. So that's the style here in Kyoto, huh? So, which way to the geishas? That's right, I forgot about that. Count me in. Keep dreaming, Junpei. The stone area outside is filled with water. Is this one of the open-air hot springs I have heard about? No, it's just a courtyard. It's not meant for bathing. So, where were you guys gonna go at your old school, Ryoji? Somewhere interesting, I bet. Kyoto's so typical, don't you think? Hmm. I don't really remember. Are you serious? That's the highlight of the year! Come on, you can talk later. You're blocking the hallway. Girls, your rooms are that way. Why don't you go get unpacked? You heard her. We'll see you later then. Hey! 
Hey, knock it off, Junpei. Back over there. I guess get with the program. Did you know that this hot spring is open to guys at certain times and girls at others? No way, really? Then there's a chance it could change to girls only while we're still bathing. But if that happens, there's nothing we can do about it. I mean, we're already here, right? That's true. We couldn't be blamed if something like that were to happen. Don't you agree? Well, it's really just a hypothetical question. Hey, isn't it getting kind of hot in here? So, Junpei, at what time does this hot spring change from guys only to girls only? Uh, I'm not sure. I, I didn't bother to check. Right, Ryoji-kun? Right, but it could happen at any moment, couldn't it, Junpei-kun? So that's why we came at this strange time? Oh, you two are such idiots. <laughs> Calm down, man. We we're just joking. Although you're right about it being a weird time to be here. But don't worry. It's pretty late. I doubt any girls would... Shit! Someone's here. What are we gonna do? It's probably just a guy. Don't worry. This is simply a misunderstanding. We'll just act like we didn't know. Wow! This hot spring is huge! Oh, you're right! It's the size of a swimming pool. So, this is an outdoor hot spring. Unfortunately, its therapeutic healing benefits will not help me. Damn it, it's them! What are they doing here this late? Yes! Both Yukari-san and Vuka-san! This is my life. Shut up, you idiot! Who are you? Uh, who's that? Is someone there? What's the matter, Yukari? Did you hear something? <laughs> Mitsuru's here too? Ah, oh, man. There's no way she'll consider this just a misunderstanding. Yeah, but it's not like we could get expelled for this, right? I mean, it, it was men only when we got here. So it's actually kind of funny if you think about it. This is Mitsuru we're talking about. If she finds us, she'll... What? She'll what? She'll execute us. E execute us? Yeah, I think I heard something. Fuka, could you check over there? It, it could be a ghost. Um, but I, uh, okay. <gasps> ah! Uh, yeah, um. Wait, th th this is just a misunderstanding. you all it was nice knowing you everyone remembers what time we're meeting at Kyoto station yes then please be on time if any of you are late, I'm the one who will be blamed. I'll never forget Kyoto. How could I after last night? That truly was an execution. Ugh, just try to forget about it.
Hmm. Looks like they're still pissed. Should not possess the gift of life. A living weapon is difficult to operate. However, I believe I understand the concept of loss. Should you ever be harmed, I... I'll try not to. You are very special to me. I do not know why, but I always want to be by your side. I want to protect you. I apologize for interrupting you. I will leave you to your studies. Good night. ago, the night I was born into this world, I set foot on this very bridge. The sole purpose of my existence is to destroy shadows. For that reason, I was given a personality and a persona. They said I was death, the thirteenth arcana that was never meant to be. And I wasn't in this world for long, before parts of my body escaped me, leaving me incomplete, as I was when I met you. Even so, your strength was far greater than I anticipated. The only possible alternative was to seal you away. And as circumstance would have it, a suitable vessel was available. A human child standing nearby. So I did what was necessary. I see. So I was confined within him. And I led him to my twelve missing pieces without realizing it. And then... Uh, I remember. I remember everything. It all makes sense now. Who and what I am. Palladian! Stop, don't be foolish, I guess. There's no way you can win. I'm different than before. A machine is created for a purpose. Mine is to defeat you. I exist for nothing else. It doesn't have to be that way. Worthless if it cannot fulfill its purpose. I'm sorry. I'm afraid. I'm back, everyone. Sorry to have worried you all. Man, I'm glad to see you. I was getting nervous. 
Me too. I was fearing the worst. I'm a machine, so I can always be rebuilt. Even if I was completely destroyed, the programming data necessary to recreate me would still exist. Hey, don't talk about yourself like that. They said another week would be required for a complete recovery, but I had the process expedited. Tomorrow is New Year's Eve. I'm sorry for all the trouble I've caused. Mitsuru-san visited me at the lab and told me everything. That must have been difficult for you all to hear. Have you been well? I mean, considering the circumstances. I'm sorry. It's because I wasn't strong enough. Ten years ago, I... What I did to you was... <sighs> but... If I hadn't done that to you, you wouldn't be suffering like this. Happy New Year, Senpai! Let's make this the best year ever! It's New Year's, but there's nothing really special to do. Well, you can always wish people a New Year's greeting. Like, uh, have a great year. Yeah. Happy New Year to you too, Koro. Oh man, I completely overslept. Why'd I stay up all night watching that stupid movie? Did you guys see it? It had these giant Amazon women running around in the jungle. Why would I watch that? Um, is anyone gonna visit the shrine? No, I don't believe in superstitions. Me either. Oh, that's too bad. Yukari-san and the others are already there. They're all wearing kimonos. Kimonos, huh? Uh, I'm gonna run to the store. Hold it right there, Junpei. Uh, what? You're going to the shrine, aren't you? N no, I'm not. I'm, uh, I'm just going for a walk. Oh yeah? Well, I'm going with you then. I'm bored. Oh, I'll go too. All right then, let's go. You coming? Anyone know where it is? Yeah, the girls told me the directions. Sweet! this year. Hey, you guys are late. We were just about to leave. Yucatan. What? Happy New Year. Hmm? What's the matter, Yori? Mitsuru-senpai, you look hot. I, um, <laughs> I mean... Stop staring at me. Um, I've never worn a kimono before. Does my sash look okay? Fuga, you look... Wow! Jeez. This traditional clothing is quite interesting. However, it's difficult to move in. So 
glad I came. New Year's kicks ass. Yeah! Junpei-san, why are you acting so strange? Man, we got to see some great stuff today. Right, Akihiko-senpai? Uh, I, uh, I guess so. Hey, aren't you guys cold? Mm, a little, but I love this time of year. Um, that's not what I meant. Junpei-san said that you guys aren't wearing anything underneath your kimonos. He said what? Ow! What did you wish for, Fuka? I... I wished for a great year. It's a bit generic, but that's what I really want. That's what I want as well. How funny. We all wished for the same thing. But it wasn't a plea for help. I know that we'll be victorious. We should get going.
Let's begin, shall we? I don't have much to say, though. In the end, it's your decision. All right, first question. Are you planning on going to college after you graduate or entering the workforce? I see. Well, if you've given serious thought to your decision, then I believe that is what you should do. Now, it's important to keep in mind that this decision is yours and yours alone. If someone else makes it for you, you'll regret it later. And then you'll have to live with the consequences, whatever they may be. But to be honest, I'm quite confident in you. You've really matured over this last year. I'm sure you're aware of it as well. What do you think has helped to bring about this change the most? I see. Well, whatever the reason, you should be proud of the young man you've become. That's all for now. I hope you have a successful senior year. Let's see, uh, who's next? Ah, Aiga-san. Would you mind letting her know? Thank you. Hmm? I'm sorry I went off on my own. When I finally calmed down after New Year's, I realized something. When I fought Ryoji, I got really scared when my consciousness began to fade. But that wasn't all. I was also confused and embarrassed when I realized I couldn't defeat him. But I couldn't defeat him ten years ago either and I didn't have those feelings then. I... I really have changed. I've been thinking a lot about this change that's occurred in me. You know, in the past if I didn't understand something I would just ask someone to explain it to me. But since I've decided to live, no one's been able to answer the questions I've been facing. However, there is one thing I've come to understand. The reason why I wanted to be close to you was so I could monitor death. But... Even though death is gone now, I... I still want to be by your side. I still don't know what it means to live yet, but I want to learn the answer, and I think I can, if I'm with you. So please, please take me with you. I may not be strong enough, but I'll fight with you to the end. Please. <laughs> Thank you.
Where are we? Did Nyx create this place? Or was it him? Is he alright, Fuka? What happened? Everything was engulfed by a bright light. I don't sense him. How could I be so powerless? This is what I was trying to prevent. We're here. Please let us hear your voice. It's me, I guess. May I please come in? Thank goodness. I'm so happy to see you again. I'm sorry to show up so suddenly, but I really needed to talk to you. I remember everything. Everyone seems to have forgotten, but I remember that day we... I'm sorry. It's just that, when I remembered, I was afraid you might go somewhere far away, like you did at the last battle. Graduation's today, isn't it? I'm sorry, the ceremony's already begun. Such nice weather outside. Do you remember? The promise we all made? Why don't we go there and wait for the others? We can enjoy the view of this peaceful city. The wind feels so nice. This is my first time experiencing spring. But this season will eventually pass. After fighting alongside you and facing the world's end, I finally began to understand what it means to live. Thinking for yourself, not running away. Accepting the inevitable. All things eventually come to an end. 
every living thing will one day disappear. Only by accepting this can one discover what they truly want, what the meaning of their life will be. I understand now why I was so tormented by my lack of strength. Protecting others became more than just an order I had to obey. I wanted to do it for my own reasons. I realized this once I decided to try and prevent the fall. When I thought I might never see you again, something else became clear to me. What I wanted most. And so, I made up my mind. I decided that I would continue to protect you. I want to be your strength. I know I'm not the only one who can do this, but that's okay. <laughs> my life will be worth living if it's for this reason. <laughs> Thank you. You're right. What am I doing? I understand now. So I should be happy. Hey! Everyone! I realize now that I have friends as well. You don't have to save the world to find meaning in life. Sometimes, all you need is something simple, like someone to take care of. I'll keep on living no matter what, so that I can protect you. Thank you, for everything. You must be tired. Please, get some rest. I'll stay right here with you. Soon, all your friends will be here by your side. be by your side, protecting you. I guess. I believe this is all of them. Huh? You had one too, I guess, son? I'd forgotten. You had his for safekeeping. When I close my eyes, I remember the last moment I spent with him. The day he fell asleep, we brought him back to our dorm, fear beginning to well up within us. And the next morning, our fears became reality, and he was lost to us. For some time after that, I fell into depression, and began seeing the same dream, night after night. A dream where I run after him, calling his name, but can never catch up. When he was alive, I promised to protect him, and I made that my reason for living. That promise is gone. Unfulfilled. Then, one day, my sadness suddenly left me as if a prison door had swung open. I stopped dreaming, and I no longer required sleep.
You're... Wait! Please, wait! No! Don't go! I promised to protect you. I dedicated my life to that purpose. But... I can't fulfill that purpose anymore. There's nothing more I can do. Can I continue to live this way? Does my life have a meaning? <sighs> if so... I wish... I could return to being a mere machine. <sighs> I... always woke up to that. It was so painful to lose him. I withdrew into my room, unable to do anything. For a while, I did nothing but chase after him in my dreams. Aikasan, which door are you thinking about unlocking? I... I can't decide right now which is more important. The past or the present. So you're just gonna run away? Again? Just like the day we said our farewells to him, and you were the only one who didn't show up. You got to hear his last words. You even made him a promise. But here you are, still running. Why were you the one who inherited his power when you can't even make up your mind? There are four lit flames. This battle will determine which side gains the true key. Well, have you made your choice? Tell me that you didn't defeat the others without a clear objective. Yes, I've made my decision. I know what I want to do. There was something crucial that I hadn't known, but my sister revealed it to me. To care about someone dear to you, to strengthen the bonds of friendship, doesn't necessarily mean that the pain of living will stop. Sister... If something's precious, you don't want to lose it. If someone's dear, it's painful to part with them. Loss can hurt, but I don't think there's anything wrong with that. I too have something important. That's why I'm willing to fight you two now. I guess. <laughs> you sound like you're back to your usual self again. You know, I have to say, you've been a little out of it lately. It was kind of disappointing, because you were acting all mechanical, like when you first got to the dorm. But now, I'd say you've got more life in you than ever. yukari son. All the same, I can't give in either. I'm not gonna lose this battle, no matter what. Get ready, cause I'm gonna tear you apart! Show me your resolve.
will not lose! Persona! I won't hold back. Persona! I knew you wouldn't be an easy opponent. Let's go! I need your help! Huh? I summon me! Son, I understand your feelings. Ever since I was born, I have spent all my time thinking about him. So, I suggest we see it, to find out once and for all what he left for us. We still don't know the real reason behind his death. Without knowing that reason, I can't decide what is right. That's why I would like to see the past again, before using this key. To see the truth of what happened, the moment he used his power. this this is his life essence as you can see this is what happened he himself became the great seal but relinquishing one's life essence means death for a human he must have already found it his own answer to life the answer to life I guess... Um... I need to apologize to you. I said some really horrible things. I think it really bothered me... the way you received the same power that he had. All I could think was... why wasn't it me? <laughs> it was jealousy. Plain and simple. Ukari's son... But really, it wasn't because you were the chosen one or anything. It was because of the way you felt. <laughs> you really never do stop thinking about him. We all wanted to protect him, but out of all of us, you must have felt the strongest. Sorrowful partings only show us the weight of our relationships. But the joy of living comes from those who care about you. I'm... A very lucky person. I guess. We were so close to each other. We suffered over the same things. <laughs> I feel pretty stupid now. I wonder why we both thought we were all alone. I guess we're more like each other than we thought. Before, I thought there was nothing left for me to protect. No reason to live. But now that I see otherwise, 
I'd like to go back to school with Yukari-san and everyone. I guess. I want to continue to experience new things with you all. I'm still kind of sad to leave this place behind. Yes, but change is part of life. Hey, I guess, if you're gonna live in the dorms, you wanna be my roommate? Huh? I mean, you need one, right? But hey, no need to be so formal. We are friends, aren't we? Yeah, you're right. <laughs>